So, uh, the season has unraveled. Francona, before the game, went on a radio show. Basically confirmed he is adios. I will love and miss Terry Francona. This was a strange game because of that interview before the game. So, it's, uh, you know... Look, season's over, folks. Division's over. Season's over. Miles Straw just... Miles Straw's play summed up the season to me. So close, yet all the way to the wall. Run on, no score. Do run. And blah, 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 blah. That was a frustrating game. Goodbye, Tito. Love being here. I agree with you. Still in a great, still great season, Connor. I love your energy. Uh, ready for the Browns. I am ready for the Browns. Please. Bring on the Browns, please. Oh. Need some gelato. I ate it all last night. Straw had to try and catch it, though. No, he did Adam, he didn't try. It was a soft... <laughs> he didn't get in front of the ball. He just basically said, you know what? I'm tired. Huh? I'm tired. Huh? And Miles Straw makes great plays. But you've got to stay in front of the ball in that play. And Miles Straw will tell you the same thing. Trevor Steffen, goodbye. Everybody, goodbye. Yes, how about those Browns? I'm excited. Can't wait about the Browns. We've been writing about them all week. Please hire Sandy Almar. He's going to be the hot name for manager. It's almost as though it didn't mean anything to... Oh, I, Jay Dizzle, I hear you. Even if the pitching was healthy, B. Cato bringing in his $20 opinion. Oh, yes, it was bad. 10-7, I hope. I'm a Twins fan. Zachary, good for you. You're going to get your ass handed to you in the first round. Welcome to the room. Good to see you. I wonder what the front office is thinking at this point. I think their jaws are dropped. I mean, this is, Jason, I think this season, I thought, again, the mile straw play summed it up. He, he, he didn't give it, he was trying to make the catch, yes. But that was such a poor attempt. And for it to be the bases loaded and for it to roll all the way to the wall. Sums up the season. Jimenez, big spot, striking out. I mean, it's just... The season has unraveled. Because of Frank Cone's retirement, the season doesn't... I agree with you. The, this is the... The funeral is here. How about prime time? Uh, he is a wonderful. Yikes. We are relying on the Browns to raise our hopes again. That's right, LB Browns. Dustin Hopkins is our kicker. We got it. We got it. Nick Chubb's going to run wild on the Bengals. Ask Todd Hall. This showed evidence of the team quitting. Uh, Tom, sir, I don't think quitting's the right term at all. I think this team is having a mental breakdown. I do think they're having a mental breakdown. So sad. Missing the playoffs somehow feels sort of foreign. Yes, it does. Tito really did swore. I like, agree. Love your thoughts on who to blame is for the 2016 World Series collapse. I would actually blame it on Trevor Bauer. He should have never cut his hand. If Trevor Bauer does not cut his hand, he actually pitches in some of those games. He didn't pitch in those games, and it cost him a series. Good to have you in the room, Pat. Too many injuries this season. Yes, Ishwig's injuries. Jimenez had a down year. Jay Rams ran out of steam. Miles Straw can't catch anything this year. This team's a mess. What's the difference between, between being down four or five years? I don't understand your thing, Adam. This sucks for Tito to go out like this. I agree with you, E-Hall. Just a Debbie, Debbie Downer. Missed the post game. What did, uh, Tito said before the game in an interview on Sirius XM, he's basically retiring. He's out. This has been the most bizarre announcement. Like, Jim Beheim's announcement was bizarre for Syracuse, and obviously we don't fear follow Syracuse. This is more bizarre. I mean, he comes out on a radio show and basically says, yeah, I'm retiring. I mean, why wouldn't the Guardians put something out there? I don't understand. I can't help to laugh. Everyone excited about the Browns. Emil, do not do this. I need something to root for. I know Emil. I love Emil. We have a bad mentality in the clubhouse, bad culture. Well, 
Tom, sir, you're going to get your wish. I love Francona. I wish Francona would stay. Will Fry be in the starting rotation next year? God, I hope so. He's exciting. Uh, I either want to be Sandy Alomar Jr. or someone outside the organization. Straw's gone. Well, he's under contract. I don't think Straw's going anywhere. Tito is slow to make moves these days, says Cram. He's not had his best season. Yeah, season's over. Cleveland Buckeye, when Straw missed that ball, and he's, again, on that play, all Miles Straw had to do was stay in front of him. He didn't. He did a lazy attempt. He did. That was a lazy attempt. I just broke my mug. Poor Tim Menzi. He got me this nice mug. I almost broke it. Sandy Elmer has to be the new manager. Starts with the Dolans. It doesn't start with the Dolans, B. Cato. I don't have enough time to educate you on the MLB ownership system. They don't share revenue. They only earn good revenue through local markets. Cleveland doesn't make as much ad revenue as New York or Chicago or San Diego or L.A. These are the players. They warned us about my... <laughs> Jason, I love you. George Falera. I can't wait for... George Falera hype's been going on since... It feels like 2022. Go Browns, waste of a season. It's been frustrating. Some sophomore things. Quan's playing better lately. Jimenez is just... Like, Andres Jimenez last year and Andres Jimenez this year, it's like two different players. Ooh. That at-bat today in a big spot was bad. Time to see Chubb. Yes, it is. Putting guards a pair away. Yes, it is time to fold it away, LB. It is time to put it in said trunk. Get the mothballs out. Trevor Bauer cutting his hands the equivalent. Yes, it is. Him... Trevor Bauer's whole explanation of the cutting of the drone was ridiculous, too. We will become the Royals, says Tom Searle. That's not true. The Royals became the Royals. Actually, the Guardians, then Indians, kept winning. I expect nothing less than winning the AFC North. That's high expectations, but I hope you're right. Um, I just want them to make the playoffs. Uh, by the winning division would be great. Need to overhaul the roster in this offseason. They're going to have to make – the Guardians have to add power. That's pretty simple. They need power bats. Power. Like, you know how you get mushrooms in Super Mario Brothers? They need, like, a lot of mushrooms in the dugout. A lot of mushrooms. They need to go, go blah, 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 blah. I get muscles, big, strong. Hit the ball out. When Tito leaves, we can we have the Dolphins leave, too, says Pat. You do the Cavs. I do the Cavs. That's right. Root for St. Ed's. Uh, Thompson's rooting for St. Ed's. Can't blame everything on the Dolphins. I agree with you, Schwiggs, about that. Youngstown State score prediction. Knowing the Buckeyes, probably 42-10 to 10, um, offense does better. I'm very interested to see how the quarterback plays, obviously. Um, I would not – I would be shocked if Harrison Jr. doesn't go for 100 and then a touchdown. Um, Got to keep Calhoun. I love Lopez, too. I want to keep Matt Moore, too. You know, Matt Moore gave up a home run tonight. I think Ohio State loses, too. I do, too. I think – I think, um, I think, uh, I think, uh, I think Ohio State loses two or three games. I think the way they look right now, Notre Dame is going to do laps around the Bucks, and that's a ninety-year waiting. The Irish haven't beaten the Buckeyes since the thirties. It's a long time. Irish fans are going to smell blood in the water. Todd Allen's having some conversation about high school football. Believeinland.com. Steelers are going to be stepping in dog poo. I like that. There we go. Outside the organization, please need someone like Joe Madden. Miles Straw, this lineup is so <laughs> it is really sad. That Miles Straw play in the outfield sums up the patheticness of this series. Just bad. But they can put money into the ballpark. Be Cato. They put money in the ballpark because when you put money in the ballpark, more fans come out to the ballpark. It actually, you're investing your money to get more fans in, which is proven to be true this year. B Progressive Field is one of the best ballparks in the country. That's why they put money in the ballpark, so more people want to come out to watch the Guardians. Can't get mad about that. B. Cato, you hate everything. I, I, B. Cato, I doubt you're free from Cleveland. I can't wait to meet you and give you your $20 bill. Maybe we'll tape it. So ready to get <laughs> pissed at Stefanski, D. Blair. Cavs coming soon. Yes, thank God. I need the Cavs. 
think Jose will have an MVP caliber season next year? Yeah, sure, why not? I think Jose's been through the ringer mentally. He's a big friend of um, Ahmed Rosario. This team has not performed. His manager, who he dearly loves, is leaving. It's hard. It's been a hard year for Jose. Nick Chubb for everybody. P, how are you feeling about the Cavs coming up? I feel very good. I just hope they rebound. They've got to rebound better. But rebounding for the Cavs was a big issue at the end of the year. Jared Allen, and I love, I love Jared Allen. He's such a good dude. He's got to do better than he did last year towards the line. The, the back third of the season, Jared Allen really struggled against the good teams. Tito gave us a decade of exciting. I love Tito Francona. Tito Francona is the best. I love Mike Hargrove. Grover's one of the best people I've ever met. I've eaten dinner at his house, his wife. Hargrove is one of the best people. Terry Francona, though, is the best manager I've seen in this town. Are the Guardians done? Yes. In fact, the Cook just put out the fire. They're so done. They're on fire. The, the Guardians is, are they're on fire. On fire. I'm ready to see Watson and Cooper chemistry. So am I. There is plenty of good coaching still available in the offseason. Um, Ohio State is losing two or three games. I feel the same way you do. Um, we'll go Browns, we'll go Buckeyes. Never heard of the Guardians. Uh, Cleveland, Ethan, there you go. Uh, who would you bet? I would bet on the Irish. Now, I might change my mind in two weeks, but I'd bet on the Irish right now. Prediction for Watson on Sunday, 250, two touchdowns. Nothing huge. I think, I think Watson... It's going to be good. I don't think it's going to be great. We need Lariano in the lineup next season. I'm on the fence about Lariano. I don't know. I At times, I really like him. He's good defensively. I like Lariano over Straw. How about that? Ryan Day will be gone. I don't know about that. We'll see. People Now, the AD leaving, um, Gene Smith leaving, might, might affect Ryan Day. People always say the Buckeyes will get destroyed. Good to see you, Burger Babes, Bryant Wooster, Nick. Uh, does Loriano overrun that ball? I say no. I don't think so either. Not only did Miles Straw under, uh, overrun the ball, he did a poor job of getting it. He got to get in front of Got to get in front of the ball. I'm so frustrated. It's a sad day. When we, yeah, I agree with you. Tito leaving sucks. We need a group and meet Greek. Yes, LB Browns. There'll be announcements soon. I'll bring the wine. The fireworks, the BK to twenty dollars. Jennifer Myers, Jennifer Myers, hello. We got Pat Owens in the room. We need that swagger. Yes, we do need that swagger. We had it last year for a little bit. Ramirez made a big. No, he did not. Thompson, stop it. Stop it, Thompson. It's not the year when we get outscored in crucial games. Yeah, I agree with you. Which game is bigger for Ohio State? Uh, I always Penn State because it's a conference game. Allen gone by the trade deadline is my prediction. Okay. Cavs can't afford anything less than a playoff series victory. I agree with you about that. Um, Jared Allen being gone by the trade deadline path is very bold. I don't see that ha I actually don't see that happening. I don't think Jared Allen's going anywhere. Cavs can't afford anything less. Yes, we just talked. I just read that. Can't give up 28. Uh, of course, Elvin mean, Browns. It's ridiculous. Trevor Steffen couldn't get it done. Miles Garrett, ugh, hate that I even ask. Any replacements you've heard of? Um, I think Sandy Almar is going to get a lot of love. I think it's going to be tough not giving that job Sandy Almar. 10-7 Browns, I hope. How about Purdue on Saturday? Yeah, that was fun. B. Cato, thanks. Fresno State. Looking forward to basketball season. Guardians are playing like a bunch of trash cans. They really are. That was bad. It's frustrating because they've owned the Twins for so long, and the Twins are just taking out the garbage. Rumors about Jim Harbaugh. God, that'd be great. I think Jim Harbaugh's a great NFL coach. Remember, he almost took the Niners to Super Bowl one. Day is gone if, if he doesn't run the Big Ten table. Um, Jay Dizzle, because of the new AD, I don't think that's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't. I I agree with you, P. Barrow. I thought Straw's attempt there was very poor. I mean, I know he wasn't trying to make the air, but that he knows better. You got to get in front of the ball. I mean, the ball. I watched the replay twice. It dropped and rolled. He's he didn't die. That's bad. Miles Straw basically said, "I'm tired. I hope the ball gets my glove." It didn't. The Buckeyes struggle this season, like you're speculating. Then they have very little hope. I don't know about that. It's a long season. 
We'll see. But I, again, right now the Buckeyes are really in development mode. But again, the Buckeyes got a great break. They play Youngstown State and Western Kentucky. That's two games to get amped up for the Irish. You can get, you can be ready in two weeks in college football. Maddie, uh, what are you most excited about for Brown season? I, I'm actually most excited about the defense. I love Zadarius Smith, Maddie. I'm very excited about the defense. Good to see you, Maddie. Ohio State doesn't want a John Cooper 2.0. I agree with you about that. I think Jay Rand broke his hand during the fight. Um, BK, that's an interesting. I give me. I haven't heard anything about his hand. I feel like trading Allen would destroy the locker room. I kind of agree with you about that, Tomster. I think the time to trade Jared Allen is before the season, not during it. Thoughts on Dylan Zell? I hope he plays. He's in concussion protocol, Pat. We'll see what happens. Any chance tomorrow Hale gets the job? I mean, there's always a chance. I mean, tomorrow Hale is well thought of in the organization. I think it's Sandy's. Maybe Ke see what can they get a Kevin Cash? That'd be great. Kevin Cash has proven he can manage. Uh, Cavs could very, very, could very well reach the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I think you're right about that. I think the finals is tough. But the East is really being determined if Damian Lillard goes to Miami. Uh, Rocco has a... <laughs> I can't stand Baldelli either. Drives me crazy. Oh, oh Manny Acta was terrible. Would you give Mark Sarball an interview? Yes, I would. I like Sarball. Sometimes a guy like Sarball is a good thing, too, because he's different from Francona. Sarball is supposed to be very fiery at times. I kind of like that. Actually, it's not a bad idea, Brian Wooster. Uh, book Miles Straw. I agree with you about that. He'll get a sack on Sunday, Cleveland Buckeye 216. You got to hold on to Jimenez, actually. And, and Jimenez has been a problem this year. He's really struggled at the plate. That at bat today with men on base it was not good. Heard a rumor that Ward might retire. Oof. Jay Rogers. I have not heard that. Um, he has had, I think he's up to his fourth concussion now, uh, which is obviously very serious. Um, but. McLeod, I think it was on Monday, kind of let it slip. That sounds like he's going to be playing. Need Hartline to call the plays over Ryan Day. B. Cato, I actually agree with you about that. I think it'll be better off Ryan Day coaching the team, not coaching the offense. Same problem with Stefanski, too. Stefanski needs to coach the team, not coach the offense only. If the Twins win, should they be placed under arrest? <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Michael Marston. Good job. Cleveland Buckeye 216 if Indy walks out of the regular season with one loss. Yes, they do. They play the Trojans. They play Clemson. They play the Buckeyes. If they go with, with one loss, yes. Absolutely, yes. And they play Duke, and Duke just beat Clemson. C Bus Columbus, very concerned about the upcoming um, D commits. Uh, it, I kind of hear what you're saying in there. I've been... Ryan Day had so much mojo going into last year, and all that mojo has gone. Bye-bye. Want Tommy as a hitting coach? Sure. Jim's a really nice guy. Jim Tommy would be great. Uh, Harbaugh and Schwartz would be so nice. I think you're right about that. 17-13. Boy, low-scoring game. I think it's more like 28-23, to 23, something like that, Brownies. Hopkins, game-winning field goal. God, that would be great. Ah! Ah! Can the Browns keep up with the Bengals' offense? Of course, yes, Dan. They have the last few seasons. In fact, if if they played a little better in Cincinnati, they would have swept. The Bengals got lucky because Watson was a mess going into that game in Cincinnati. Bengals didn't play great either times against the Browns. Twinkies are getting trashed in the first round. I agree with you about that. Team is awful. Guardians are done. That's cool. I'm finally excited about the Browns defense. So am I. In all my years, oh, Borellas, I have never been excited about the defensive line. The Browns have a good defensive line this year. They really do. I think strip sack. I think Miles Garrett, MVP defensively. Your favorite Cleveland athlete right now, uh, Jose Ramirez, Nick Chubb. And I love, I, even though I love Donovan Mitchell, too. I guess those are my three. I love Jared Allen, even though he drives me crazy with this play. I think Jared Allen's a nice man. I like that he waves to the crowd. Brown Super Bowl, why not? Burrow playing, yes, he will. That I don't even know why it's a storyline. Of course he's going to play. That D-line's going to be vicious, yes. I think defensive player of the year for Miles Garrett. Yes, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. going to be exciting. I'm probably going to go to the guards game when I'm back in Cleveland to see Tito one more time. There you go, B. Cato. You crapped on the poor man enough. Time to... 
Wish him good well. The Guardians hire Bear. Uh, they hire Aaron Boone. No, 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 no. Aventendi, no, no, no. Aaron Boone cannot come to Cleveland. He won't. TJ Watt, Micah Parsons. They're both very good players, but I think it's time for the Miles Garrett trophy. Offensive player in the year, Nick Chubb. Gotta be great. LB Browns made an interesting September. I agree with you, Alex. Um, Guardians made a push. They just have not had the same mojo as last year. Mobley making the All Star team is not far fetched. Maddie, I'll be at the Guardians game tomorrow. Maddie, enjoy the game. P. Barrow, uh, Browns make a trade. Yes, I think they will make a trade at the deadline. Ah. You and Hayden Grove should do a season ending pod broadcast together. I would love to. I actually know Hayden Grove very well. Maybe we will. Brian Wooster, that's a good idea. Do you know Hayden Grove? I know Hayden Grove. I haven't talked to Hayden in a while. He's been singing a lot. I didn't like him this year. Where he had a lot of questionable moves. I'm not sure what you're referencing there, B. Kato. All right, Chrissy, good to see you. All right, Katona, season's over, but Cleveland Browns. It is. It's time for the Browns. Sipping champagne for the winds of the fall. It's a tag Hewart. Got it as a gift from Christy. I love her so much. There you go, B. Kato. Aiden Grove's good people. Very good people. He's a very good guy. Is the fan base getting antsy about 75 years? Of course we are, Tomster. Tomster. Do kids like Christmas, Tomster? Yes. Any chance Tito goes a special assistant? No. I think, thank you, Aventendi. I think, I think Tito's done. She is a keeper, LB Browns. I agree with you. Christy's wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful lady in my life. Time to go. I have to teach in the morning. And I got to do a bunch of documentary work. World Series prediction. Braves. Braves or Orioles. How about that? So what's next for the Guardians? Um, power hitter, power hitter, power hitter, power hitter. Please make Sunday afternoons fun again. Yes, please. I agree with you. Colin, please. Can Charlie Brown be our manager? Okay, Michael. It's time to get, we're getting tired. Do you teach in the Cleveland area? I actually teach at the University of New Haven in New Haven, Connecticut. Brown's big over Bungles book it. But I would love to be teaching someday. I went to the University of Toledo. I'd like to be teaching at the University of Toledo someday, Cam. I am from Ohio, but I live in Connecticut. And then I, I go back and forth from Connecticut to Cleveland all the time. Because I did 18 years at ESPN. So I go back and forth. And my documentary business is in New York, Connecticut. So I go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, how concerned are you uh, about Joe Mixon? I'm not worried about Joe Mixon. He really doesn't do well against the Browns. For all the running backs who do well against the Browns, Joe Mixon's not one of them. I am a professor, Tomster. I teach documentary film and public speaking. My kids make fun of me after Guardians losses. I'm loving Atlanta right now. You know, I am too. Come to Wooster. I would love to do that, Bryant Wooster. I have been a GV artwork. Ian Moore going to break out. I think Ian Moore is going to be a star. I think the Jets, uh, we got away with murder trading a second round pick for him. I think he's going to be really good. Good for you, Red Stake. Hartford is not a good. Uh, Hartford, Hartford's a really run down city. It's like a Toledo. I love Toledo, but Toledo's not. And Hartford's not. New Haven's nice. New Haven reminds me of Cleveland a lot. You think Joe Burrow doesn't play? I think he does play Lions over Chiefs. Boy, I don't see that. Do you think, uh, who's Bajon? I don't even know who Bajon is. AL's going to be more of a toss-up. Yeah. I think the Orioles, though. I like the Orioles. I was really on the Rangers, but they have just crapped the bed. Oof. They really have. I really do like the um, the Rangers, though. Pizza in New Haven is a 10. New Haven pizza is the best. Peppies. There's a place called some parties. Uh, Sally's is very good. Uh, but I think Peppies pizza is the, best, is the best pizza I've ever had. There's also a place um, in Toledo that's really, really good. Thank you for keeping the spirits. So you're welcome, Brian Wooster. Orioles are good. Toledo belongs in Michigan. B. Cato, such a positive influence. Good season. At least they keep us busy. I agree with you, Nick, about that. I'm just disappointed how it ended. 
best rookie quarterback this season? Um, probably C.J. Stroud. People need to chill about the Lions. I agree with you about that. B.J. Bijan Robinson. Oh, yeah, he's good. I mean, I, I think the best rookie quarterback is Stroud. Actually, it's DTR. DTR is very, very good, but we're not going to see him this year. All right, time to go to bed. Good night. The Undertaker's here. He's closing the casket. We'll be back here tomorrow. Tito Francona, thank you for everything. The league has been hot. The second-year quarterback's Mike Tomlin still of this team. Yes, Pitt's always going to be good, which is very annoying. I hope they fire Tomlin someday because he's a very good coach. Guards, offensive player, offensive rookie of the year. Um, who's the offensive rookie of the year for the Guardians? <laughs> Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor's really finished the year strong. Arias has been hitting the ball lately, too. Hmm. For an Freeman. I'll actually give it to Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor's really hit the ball well lately towards the end of the night. Good night, Joe Boo. Yes, we need some Joe Boo run right now. Good night. Back on tomorrow, 1 o'clock game, and then they fly to the West Coast. Good night.